the fans want to see Jenny. So I get why the fans sometimes are like, she doesn't look like her. She will never be Jenny. I, I'll never be Jenny because there's only one Jenny Rivera. Llamaron de Balboa Records. Quiere firmar un disco contigo. Oh my God! Acabas de llenar los Staples Center. Salud. Con ustedes, la gran señora Jen. Well, congratulations on this show. Um, it's such a great show. I was very, I was taken aback because I didn't know her backstory. And so it's very emotional. When you read the script, were you surprised or were you already familiar with her, with her life? Um, I was familiar with her life because of the book of Unbreakable. But I must admit that I, 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 I started knowing a lot more things about her through the script because they were so tied in, you know, with reality, with the family and learning, you know, everything she went through everything she suffered and on top of that she never went around with the with the badge of being a victim yeah. ever it was more of a badge of i'm victorious i don't identify with whatever happened i'm i'm that doesn't identify me and and that to me is just it's powerful she was she was a powerful woman yeah i mean i was familiar with her songs and it was always like you know female empowerment and i will survive to so actually see her in this vulnerable state is really really surprising that's that's something that as, as an actress, I needed to capture because we're, we, as fans, you know, people, we, we, we see her and we always saw her as this very strong woman, but actually capturing, you know, when she was hurting. Yeah, you know, she, she, she had her husbands and she was brokenhearted a lot. And it hurt to be away from her kids. It hurt to, you know, for one of her husbands to take money away from her kids. And the things that happened to her kids and she wasn't around. It's just so many things that it, it, it's, it's the story behind the icon. It's the story behind the music because we all know the music and we enjoy it, but we don't know the person, the real woman who hustled and struggled her way to the top. And I think you have the hardest job because you portray Jenny Rivera, the superstar. <laughs> and there's someone who portrays her as she was, you know, in her teens and someone who's, you know, um, to her childhood. So did you feel the pressure? I mean, you, you're playing Jenny Rivera. <laughs> oh, no pressure at all. No, it's easy. No, it's not easy. And the pressure is on. And I, and I felt it all the way until the last scene being filmed. And that's just because if you don't feel the pressure, then you're not doing your good job. You know, you're not doing your job because you have to... I have to be true to her, I have to be true to the story, and true to the scene itself. And it's not easy, it's, it's, it's not easy juggling this character that is so emblematic in, in, in the Latin community, and taking her and putting her, you know, the fans want to see Jenny. So I get why the fans sometimes are like, she doesn't look like her, she will never be Jenny, I, I'll never be Jenny. Because there's only one Jenny Rivera. I'll never even have a career similar to her because she had her career because of her situations, her circumstances, and she went forward. And, she, and, and whatever she did to get there, it, it, it's her specific struggle, hustle, and victory. And that's not my job. My job is to get the essence of Jenny and so we can see her stories that we hear or that we, there's rumors about it and see it portrayed on TV. You know, she's on video, music videos, singing. So what did you watch the most to get her essence? Um, uh, videos, not music videos. Videos, music videos, we all know they're staged. But her concerts, the way she was, the real thing, when I had to do her concerts, I had to go back and start seeing, you know, her hand gestures, the way she would move her, her, her mouth, when she would breathe in, when she was struggling not to cry in a song. All these things pertaining to each song that, that we um, actually made a, a presentation, a concert over. It, it was, you know, the, more, the night before, getting it at 10, 11 p.m. at night, studying. The morning of, seeing the videos again and studying and, 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 and having her, 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 the way she would breathe, move her hands, um, facial gestures, all these things that, that take place to make her, her on on the stage. Do you sing? 
Oh my God, no, honey, I don't sing. I can't even save my life. Do not ask me to sing. You don't want to go deaf. No, but for the purpose of lip singing, because it's actually Jenny Rivera's voice that we're using, I did have to sing. Because you can tell when someone is just, you know, moving their lips and they're not, it's not coming through because we've seen them when they perform and they're not really singing. And then there's an actual interpretation of a song. And I did have to sing just to get the, you know, the veins that pop out and, and the sweat and, and the energy. And sometimes you're tired or it makes you move even more with each word or verse that she would sing. So... I feel for the audio technicians that had to hear my voice, but I did see. <laughs> now, what's the most surprising thing you found out about her? Oh, the most surprising thing is that she, even though she went through so many things, she was always hopeful and so full of love and believed in love. And I think she was in love with love itself. And she, just like anybody else, she just wanted to be love and find a man that would sweep her off her feet because we see this strong woman that you know strong and empowering and, and singing songs about her exes and, and, and putting to shame you know any man that wants to put any woman to shame but besides all that she believed in love and she believed in having that fairy tale too that we all believe in yeah